Hi everyone, I'm Shanna. And I'm Camille. We're the Barry County Water Quality Monitoring Program interns from Pierce Cedar Creek Institute. And today we're gonna to talk about phosphorus and nitrogen pollution. So why is phosphorus and nitrogen important? What does it even mean? Phosphorus is an element that commonly occurs in natural ecosystems. As it only occurs in land and water, not air, it is commonly mined from the soil. Phosphorus is a main ingredient in fertilizers. Similar to phosphorus, nitrogen is also found in natural ecosystems. It cycles through water, land, and air, unlike phosphorus. Nitrogen is also a main ingredient in fertilizers. Both phosphorus and nitrogen are nutrients that plants need to grow. This means more phosphorus and nitrogen generally causes more plant, algae, and bacteria growth. Most farmers give phosphorus and nitrogen to the plants that they grow. So if these nutrients naturally occur, then why does nitrogen and phosphorus pollution exist? When it rains, runoff from farms, lawns, and roads carries extra nitrogen and phosphorus into the water system. This means extra bacteria, plant, and algae growth. Bacteria and algae can become toxic in excess, leading to health risks and preventing recreational activities like swimming and fishing. The new plant material will also die and decompose, using lots of the available oxygen in the water. This leaves little available oxygen for the other organisms, like fish, freshwater mussels, crayfish, and more. This is all a result of too much nitrogen and phosphorus within a water system. To avoid runoff, consider natural lakeshore landscaping, like buffer strips, and avoid over-fertilizing your lawn. While limiting your fertilizer use may seem like a small change, at larger scales, runoff can accumulate and have severe impacts on water quality. That's a brief overview of phosphorus and nitrogen pollution. Let's work together to preserve our waterways. Thanks for watching.